so hi uh, today we are going to talk about the apis and restful apis and we'll understand that uh, how to handle request in response so before moving to the restful api uh, let's understand that uh, what is a api and so uh, api is stand for the application programming interface uh, that uses a set of rules that allow a different software application to communicate with each other. It defines uh, the method of a data structure that developer can use to interact with an external software component uh, uh, like a operating system or microservices. So basically here you can see the uh, how APIs work. So here the client and here the server. So whenever the client send a request to the server for getting uh, an, any type of data, or uh, data could be a text file or video file uh, images. So it could be anything. So whenever a client hit the request to the server, the server receive the request and process it and then return back a response to the client and client see the results on his system okay so this is a working method of api how the api works so now let's move to the restful api so uh, uh restful api is a nothing but a special type of a api that stand for the representational state transfer okay so api we know application programming interface so it uh, basically restful api is an architectural style for the designing network and application actually uh, restful api uses a http request to interact with the resources of, on a server it is a simply makes a restful api uh, easy to use and integrate with the various web services okay so what is a http request so we'll talk about it later uh, basically it is nothing but you can see here the get post put and delete uh, these are the http request so in a single word uh, if i define uh, what is a restful api so restful api is nothing but uh, it is a type of a api that uses a http request to perform operation on resources okay so let's see uh, what is the working flow of RESTful API, uh, how it works. RESTful API involves uh, sending an HTTP request. Uh, HTTP request could be a type of get, post, put or delete. So it involves uh, sending an HTTP request to a specific endpoint. Then the server process the request and returns a response. Typically in a JSON format, a response could be a JSON format, uh, it could be a XML format and then the client can use this response to perform a actions or display a data. So this interaction allow for the efficient data exchanging and manipulating the across different system. Okay, so here you can see in this figure, uh, client send the HTTP request to the server and server process that request and return back a response. So response could be a JSON for type data or it could be a XML type data. Okay. So uh, let's look a uh, common operation uh, you can perform with a RESTful API. So basically it perform a create, read, update and delete. So here uh, we'll uh, you see that uh, these are the http methods post get put and delete uh, these are the http methods so let's talk about one by one so first is post so post is used to send data to the server for creating a new resources uh, for example if you want to create a new user then you will hit the post request uh, on this endpoint okay so for uh, uh, get so get is used to retrieve uh, data from the server for example uh, you want to retrieve or display, uh, display the users so 
you need to hit the get method and for updation so if you want to update the user details so you need to hit the put request and on this base url or you can say on this endpoint okay so if you want to delete a user from existing in our database so we need to hit the delete http method on this so this operation correspond to the crud operation so crud is basically stand for the create and read update and delete okay so uh, actually this is an uh, example of a endpoint url for restful api uh, which is look like this okay so this uh, the base url for the maintaining user related uh, operations such as a specific actions uh, to creating deleting and updating user details so here uh, you can see the endpoints uh, these are the endpoints okay so here you can see for creating we use the create user and for getting the get all user single user update user and delete user so actually this is a not a good way to writing a restful api why because uh, uh, because whenever we want to perform these operations create or read or update or delete the user then we need to change only the methods of http means that uh, what operation we want to perform 